Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday's NFL. It is Sunday, November 1st, kicking off the new month. The free play in the NFL, we're going to get to the battle between the Niners and the Seahawks in just one moment. Real quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, uh, listen, if you're watching on Saturday, just a real quick heads up. I do have eight plays. Uh, my top play on Saturday does kick off at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Just want to get that out there as a heads up in case you were thinking about jumping on board for Saturday's college football. Uh, Sunday, we included a six-star in Sunday's card, and one of the games that's in my NFL Sunday card is the battle between the Steelers and the Ravens. Uh, so if you're interested, you can jump on board, still get that football package. Also wanted to mention that on Sunday, I do have NASCAR. They're at Martinsville. That is the venue, the scene of my biggest monetary win ever in NASCAR, which was way back in like 98, I think it was. Bobby Hamilton, 22 to 1, goes in and wins at Martinsville, and we cashed that one pretty big. But uh, we do have a matchup for you in Sunday's NASCAR at Martinsville. Only a couple of the races left, uh, so jump on board if you wish. We've got a real nice run. 48 and 25 is our current NASCAR run with head-to-head -head matchups going all the way back to May of 2019. So it's been a real nice run for us. 25 years now of handicapping and betting and winning in NASCAR. So NFL Sunday, including the six-star NASCAR soccer, all available on Sunday over at DocSports.com. Let's get to our free pick for Sunday. It is the uh, battle between the Niners and the Seahawks game being played in Seattle. And uh, listen, this number has come down. You've seen Seattle as much as a four-point favorite. For the most part now, they are a three-point favorite. I did see one book dip down to two and a half but just one and there was a lot of juice with that but uh, listen I know Seattle's got some injuries at the running back position we get that Carson's questionable Carlos Hyde is doubtful and it's not like Russell Wilson uh, needs any more responsibilities on this offense than he already has but uh, we do think they get the job done here the, Na the Niners are, are a very banged up football team still uh, their injury list just reads on and on like a Tolstoy novel uh, they we had them against by the way, we had San Francisco, if you recall, as a premium pick against the Rams a couple of weeks ago, uh, and, and, and we got the win with the Rams. Well, they come back last week and they destroy the Patriots. And without taking too much credit away from the Niners, that had as much to do with New England being inept, especially on offense right now, than it did anything else. If you look at, I'm just going to throw this note out there on the New England Patriots, you might want to jot this down for this upcoming game. Even though I think they're in a good spot against Buffalo this week, the bottom line is, is that the quarterbacking over the last three games, one touchdown, nine picks, eight sacks, uh, but I do think they actually get it together too. So kind of went off on a tangent there a little bit on New England. But that just shows you where they were though when they took on San Francisco. And again, I don't want to take away too much credit from that win by the Niners, but I think the Pats had as much to do with that as anything else. Now, as far as Seattle, you're going to look at the stats. You're going to see their defense has had some issues. They might be getting Jamal Adams back this week. That's obviously a big deal for this Seattle defense, especially against the pass. I just like Seattle right now in this particular game with a drop and down to three. Under three and a half. I know they haven't had the greatest record against the spread as far as how they've done as home chalk, but this is a really good spot for the Seahawks. It is not a good spot for San Francisco, and we're going to recommend a play on Seattle minus the three. So the Seahawks minus three over the Niners is our free play on this report for Sunday. And a real quick note, I'll be right back here Sunday night. It'll be late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Uh, we'll have our Monday video available at that time. If you do like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget about my Sunday card of the NFL available at DocSports.com, including the six-star play. And, uh, and again, NASCAR, soccer, also on Sunday. And we'll be back Sunday night. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Subscribe. I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column.